So the first thing to note is that I can walk along as a user, pick up the pen, and the system will drop me straight into a whiteboard. And I can start to work with the device, capture some ideas down here. And we can start working straight away. I can move this up to here. On the back of the pen is an eraser. And I can, if I wish, write with a finger as well like that. So this is a just one big infinite canvas that's going to go all the way that way, all the way this way, using a reskinned version of Microsoft OneNote. Now down here is my home button and sat in the back of here is a full Windows 10 machine so I can sit applications on the device that mean that I can walk up and start to work without having my personal device with me. So I don't need a laptop, don't need a tablet necessarily. I can just jump straight into working with the hub. So here we have a web browser for example. This could quite easily be a SharePoint site or an Office 365 site that I browse to here. But here's bbcnews.com. Any application that I have open, I've got this little pen icon up at the top that allows me to drop the data into my whiteboard. And I can either take all of it by pressing clip all, or there might just be a couple of items there that are relevant to me. As soon as they're dropped in here, they become an asset in the whiteboard. And I can annotate over the top of those. Nice and simple. Okay. Now, it doesn't have to be just a Microsoft Office application. Here, for example, is a full version of Excel. But any application that's written in Windows 10 Universal will sit on here quite happily. So for example, here, we can open a PDF. As we've got there, and again, I'll just bring this over here. So this is actually a PDF document. And if I just make this full size, I can now annotate directly into directly into the PDF, like so. And that is now embedded in the PDF document, just as an example of a piece of software that we might use. Now over on this side I've got a telephony icon, and I'll just move over here. I can use that either side as you see. This telephony icon is going to allow me to start a Skype for business call. As simple as that. So as an end user I'm not looking for a remote control. Um, I'm not having to worry about whether you're on IP or ISDN or all of the traditional video conferencing challenges that we had. I'm simply looking for you by your email address. And you can see there that we've established a link uh, with an office there. Now as soon as I'm in a call, I have this present screen option up here. I press that and that shares whatever we're working on here with the guys who are on the video call down here. Okay. I am just gonna end that call there. And I'll just head back to the whiteboard for a second. So once we've finished our session, we have this little envelope icon down here. We press that and it's going to allow me to email the notes from the session out to the people that have joined us. I'm going to get two files. I'm going to get a native OneNote file that I can go back to the desktop, open in Microsoft OneNote and continue to work on. I'm also going to get a PNG graphics file that I can open on any graphics viewer. If my session has been um, pre-scheduled in Outlook, then all of the attendees will automatically populate with their email addresses there. So if that's 15, 20 people, that will automatically populate, or I can just manually type them in. So once I get to the end of the session and I've, I've sent the notes out to everybody, I have a little I finish button down here. That's gonna give me a 10 second countdown, just to make sure that I've saved all of my data and forwarded that out to the delegates that are with me in the meeting. I can't save anything to the device itself. So I click I've finished, it gives me my 10 second countdown, I end the session. Now in not being able to save to the device, that means that if that was sensitive data, the next guys that come along can't get access to that. 
um, which is a good thing. It also means that every time I step up to one of these to use it, I get it in exactly the same state as it was the very first time that I used it. And the next guys can come along and they can pick up the pen and that drops us straight back into the whiteboard and again, off I go with the next session. Microsoft Surface Hub.